Yes! What's up, everybody? It is Jay Wills. Let me see if I can get this. There. Well, I've got to block this. Oh, that's weird. So you're going to have to deal with that. So I'll wait for some folks to get in here. Hopefully my service stays relatively good. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, let me know actually if you can hear me so that I know that I'm doing this for the right reasons. But this is a very, very, very long drive. A extremely long drive. Um, I think I have 11 hours left. Let me double check that everybody's let me get the live chat going here. Bingo, loud and clear, good. So there's gonna be a little bit of road noise. I apologize for that, but it is what it is. What is going on, everybody? So I was just at Cataclysm 2019. Really, really, really cool show. A lot of rare plecos, a lot of rare everything. And share this video for me because the more people that watch it, maybe I'll get some ad money and I can get myself some ice cream and food. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So share it, like it, do the whole thing, but I'm gonna discuss a few things, why I'm driving 15 hours home, what is happening and where I'm going next with all this, and maybe I can block this light. <laughs> but I'm at Cataclysm, I'm having a good time, doing the normal stuff, and there's all these auctions, right? You've got your auction on Sunday, you've got your regular auction, you just have all of the, the fun things that you can do when you're at a fish show. So if you don't go to a fish show, that's kind of sad because you miss out on things like what I just got to do. Um, and the really neat part about this is there was some rare plecos that was like L46s. Yes, I got some L46s. So how that happened was I walked in, I saw the sheet, I looked at the fish. Next thing you know, I put my number down, I put my bid down and it's a Dutch auction. So you have the ability to buy as many as you want based on the price that you put down. So that's what I did. I put down my amount and I ended up winning some zebra plecos. That in itself is awesome. But I had no aquariums to put them in, right? Because you're not gonna put a few hundred dollars in two or three fish in with other fish that would eat them. That doesn't make any sense. So exactly what I did, I went into another room where they had silent auctions and I wrote down some prices that I was willing to pay for some aquarium. I was supposed to leave Monday midday and 6.30 last night, the silent auction ends and guess what? Yep, I won four aquariums. <laughs> so here I am with a rent-a-car driving back. I actually would have had five aquariums, but I kind of traded out this aquarium for what they bid it on for it because I didn't have room originally because of the rent-a-car that they gave me. The rent-a-car was way cheaper with gas to haul. I've got a 12 gallon cube, a seven gallon bookshelf, a 33 gallon and a 12 gallon, all frameless, all really nice aquariums with a lot of product with them as well. Um, filters, heaters, things that I will need to set them up for some fish that I got. Normally I don't get down with catfish, but the L46, the Zebra Pleco is a very, very, very beautiful fish. And I, I just had to go after it. So I did, I won it. And I, I didn't want to be a jerk and get all four of them. So I got two, but I also found out what's going on, John. I also found out where I can get a couple more. So here, here I am, 15 hours, I am four hours into the drive, I feel perfectly fine, I've got an aquarium here, I've got the other three back here, and I'll have to get them set up and ready to rock. 
So that's why I'm driving 15 hours. And if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer them. I'm literally on wide open roads in Illinois. I've got cruise control on. I'm, paid, I'm paying very close attention. But this will also help me kind of re-energize myself because when you're driving alone, you can only listen to so much music. You know the drill. So from here, I get to Texas and I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, drink coffee. Well, I've got to stop at some point to get gas. I'm going to grab some food and then I'll get some coffee. But I've got to get an MRI. Um, I'll elaborate more on this later, but I'm actually having an issue with my eye. Uh, the doctors think it's optic neuritis and it's basically inflammation of the optic nerve. There's really only one reason that could be causing it that we would know and that's what we have to rule out with the MRI and I'll do, like I said, I'll discuss more of that later. So if you don't see as much posting or you see a lot of mistakes on the posts, that will be why. Um, what's that say? Well, that was too fast. <laughs> Just hope you get them at a reasonable price. I will say this, the Zebra Plecos that I did get were less than $100 a piece. They are true L46s and I have procured two more that will be under $100 as well. So if you want something, you really just kind of have to be, a fish like that is right place, right time, and that's what I was. I was right place at the right time. So I got lucky. Um, it's really neat to be at local fish shows, and that's why I've always encouraged it, whether it's the American Cichlid Association or it's any singular event there are so many from saltwater to freshwater all around the country and so when people go uh, there's not one in my area i'm driving 15 hours back home but there's they're all in ohio they're in pennsylvania they're in connecticut they're in new jersey they're in new york they're in florida they're in texas they're in louisiana they're in california washington they're in arizona they're everywhere so there's really no reason for you not to show up. The next show, however, is going to be crazy awesome, and that is Aquashella. And that is the 28th and the 29th, and it is in Chicago. I highly recommend you attend this show for a few reasons. There are a ton of things to look at. It's a great place, is, you know, it's a great place to bring your family. There's a ton of salt water, a ton of fresh water, and there's lots to do in that area. Not to mention, there are, there's gonna be over 60 YouTubers there, so if you've got a favorite YouTuber that you watch, um, that could be your chance to meet them and hang out. That's, you know, for, for some people, that's really awesome, and that's gonna be a driving force for them. There's gonna be some great talks that are happening. Uh, my aquariums are doing really well. The travel has kind of stagnated how I post them and what I do but all of my fish are doing well, except I lost a ton of tetras due to geophagus eating them and an overflow box. I still gotta get that canister switched over, uh, but there's a fire right there, that was weird. Um, outside of that, it's aquatic, uh, aquatic experience right after Aquashella, then the OCA, and I should be good for the rest of the year. So hopefully my health holds up, hopefully I get all of those things squared away and I'll get all these aquariums set up. A couple of them will probably be planted. I'm looking at potentially starting a new vivarium, and then that's it. That's pretty much it for me for 2019, and then I'll get into 2020, and I will be able to rock and roll. So I appreciate your folks' support. I appreciate I really hope to see you at one of these events that it's New Jersey and Ohio. And I, I will see many of you between those three shows. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Share this video. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Cool L46s once I get them. 
was last week's video. Uh, until I get back, get settled, get the aquariums up. Of course, I'm gonna use Turbo Start from Fritz Aquatics and bang, get it up and running. And then I'm gonna get some fish from Tristan and we'll bring those all back and I will have Zebra Let Go. So again, thank you for watching. I may go live on Facebook and Instagram later, so you can pop by and check that out. You know what's next. Uh, wh where did you go this weekend? Cataclysm. It was in Madison, Wisconsin. It's CatCon next year, then Cataclysm, and they rotate every year. So I hope to see you at one of those events. And if I don't, I hope you are attending a crap ton of events in your area because it's the way we keep the hobby relevant. It's the way we're able to bring species that may be on a cares list or if you're into coral, uh, it may be one of those frags that you're able to do from a locale that you know really is unable to get coral out currently. These are the things we're able to do as hobbyists to further the idea of what we do, get more people interested in the hobby, and ultimately sustain what we are doing on a, you know, farm raised, basement, aquaculture lifestyle of these animals and creatures and keep them in the hobby without pulling from the wild all the time. So, um, I mean, look at OSA um, in Rhode Island. They're doing a phenomenal job at building a brand new aquaculture facility for coral. So, um, hell yeah, Jay, tell him you made me want to do the <laughs> So just having a good time, having a blast with this, and hopefully my eye is okay because there's a gray patch over my right eye and it really causes some issues um, in day-to-day -day life, just typing, writing, reading things. So it's a little frustrating right now and hopefully this MRI can figure it out. But enough of that, 11 hours, I'm gonna get some food, get back on the road. You know what's next, Aha!